Welcome back everybody to another video with Willie's Truck Life. Today I'm cooking up a nice dinner for myself and I'm going to be using all my cooking stuff. <laughs> my Dutch oven, the propane stove, charcoals. Yeah, I'm going to have a good meal today and it's raining again today, guys, so I'm down here at my uh, secret location here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to enjoy cooking this, and yeah, so let's start cooking. All right. So the first thing that I need to do, guys, I need to heat up my Dutch oven. So let's turn this Coleman stove on and heat her up. Oh, this should fit on my Dutch oven. Yeah, it should fit, guys. There. It fits. <laughs> it fits. All right, let's turn this on. I'm going to put her on high, get her nice and hot. So while that's heating up, I'm going to cut up some onions here, guys. Cut up some onions. Just yellow, yellow onions. Yes, sir. I'm having to cook up. <laughs> I heard this banging noise. I was wondering what it was. Oh, that was. Oh, yeah. So it was. All right. My onions are chopped up. I'm just going to use one for now. I think one one onion will do. So. On the menu today, guys, we're having some oven roast. So it's going to take a while to uh, to make this because I want to be able to use the Dutch oven and let it and let it bake for a couple hours. So, yeah, it's <laughs> yum, yummy your oven roast. So that should be hot enough, guys. I'm going to throw in some oil here in the pan. Let that oil heat up a little bit. There. And we're going to put it in the pot for five minutes on each side. Oh, I should add some pepper. <laughs> I forgot. Let's add a little bit of pepper. I don't have any salt. I don't like using salt, actually, but... There, we'll use some pepper. We'll do both. We'll do the one side for now. <laughs> one side. All right, that should be hot enough. So what we're going to do, I'm going to throw it in the pot. And don't touch it for five minutes. Let it, let it uh, sear. We're going to do some searing, searing. <laughs> okay, guys. It's been about five minutes since I've uh, seared one side. Oop. Oh, that's not pepper. <laughs> I guess I could use that, but that's not pepper. This is pepper. I don't have any salt, like I said. Just, I'm just going to put some pepper on this side. And now I'm just going to flip it. Turn it. Oh, look at that nice sear, eh? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm gonna let that sear for another five minutes too. All right guys, we're just gonna turn down that stove to about a medium heat. We're gonna take this out, our meat out. Oh, nice looking meat, eh? See how nice and golden and brown it is? That's just the way you want it on both sides. Nice, eh? So I'm going to set that aside 
and start with the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> So we have a lot of uh, ground bits in our pot, which we like to have. So I'm gonna throw on my onions. I'm gonna stir up the brown bits that are in the pot. And I'm gonna wait until these onions cooks down a little bit. Oh boy, the wind is picking up. So now I'm just gonna wait until the onions, I don't want the onions to burn. I just want them to cook down a little bit. All right, these onions should be okay for the next stuff. So the next ingredient, we're gonna put in some garlic. <laughs> I'm gonna smash off some garlic and add it with the onions. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll chop them up, I guess. Same thing. I'll cut them up. I don't have a, can't find my, uh, my garlic thing, the mint, mint, that's fine. I'll just cut them up and let them uh, do a thing in there, <laughs> in the pot. <laughs> three, three bits of garlic. I don't know, maybe I'll try this. Ah, there you go, that'll work, that'll work. I'll uh, mix up, ah. and I'll let that go for a minute. Let's let the garlic go do its thing for about a minute. Easy as that. All right. One more minute with that garlic. <laughs> okay, guys, we're ready for the next ingredient, which will be um, oh, we have our beef broth, that's going in the pot, that's for sure. So we're just going to add some uh, thyme leaves, bay leaves, rosemary. All right, we are going to add a little bit of broth beef for now, a couple of cups of broth beef into our pot. Let's throw the whole thing in. No, oh, that'll work. That's enough. And now we're going to add some rosemary, rosemary leaves in the pot. About a half a teaspoon, teaspoon, full, full. Whatever, you're, whatever you fancy to put in, how much. Uh, we're gonna add in some thyme leaves. I don't, I don't even have it open. <laughs> there we go. About a spoonful of thyme leaves. Oh, windy. Oh, windy. That'll work. Ooh, the wind is picking up, guys. So we got our thyme leaves, we got our rosemary. And we're gonna add some Worcester sauce today, guys. Worcester sauce, a few drops of Worcester sauce in it. And we're gonna put in a, a bay leaf, a bay leaf into it, into our pot. We'll put in two. <laughs> now we're gonna stir that up. Oh yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna stir that up, guys. Oh boy, and I'm gonna have to open up this tomato paste. I want two spoonsful of tomato paste. 
I'm lucky I'm in under the rain. Oh, oh well. <laughs> The wind. There. Oh, I can't open it. There. Two spoonfuls. of tomatoes paste. Tomato paste, not tomato sauce. And we're gonna stir that up. And bring it to a boil. We're gonna set this aside. And now we can, we can turn it up now. So guys, let's check our pot here. What I'm looking for is a low boil, and that's good. Look at that, guys. Oh, it smells wonderful. So now I'm just gonna turn off the stove here. Take it off the Coleman stove, put it, to a, put it to the side. And now we can put the Coleman stove away. We're done with the Coleman stove. And we can pack it away. We'll take off the propane bottle. <laughs> the rain, eh? can you see the rain? And we'll put the coma stove over this way. Now it's time to light the charcoal. be enough for now for to start now my paper towel right here on the table oh it's windy <laughs> uh, where is oh here it is Canola oil. I like to spray her down with canola oil. It helps to get the charcoals nice and hot. Well, yeah. <laughs> now, lighter. Uh oh. Can I bring my lighter down? Yeah, I got my lighter. <laughs> All right, it's windy. Gonna be, uh, might be a little bit toughy today. All right. No, she lit the first first one, huh? She lit. That's good. She lit. <laughs> so let that uh, light up for uh, 15 minutes until they're nice and hot. While I'm doing that, I'm going to start cleaning up. <laughs> a little bit. All right. These coals are nice and hot now, guys. I think I got enough. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the pot back on. Put them on the coal. We're just going to put some of let's mix. Let's just push them aside. All right. It's very hot. All right, we're going to put seven under the bottom. That's your door. And we're going to... Oh, I got to get my... Uh, I got to get my pot lid, my uh, holder, up in the truck. So now we're just going to let that... And now what we're going to do, I'm going to throw the meat back in there. <laughs> put the bead in and put some coals on the top of the lid 
Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit more broth to cover it a little bit more. There. Perfect. And uh, what else? I'm just going to mix it all around. Put the lid back on. And I'll show you what it's like inside the pot. So, I'm going to leave it like that, go get my pot holder, and then put some coals on the top of the lid. So, oh guys, there's the meat, all the stuff that's in it, the broth, and all the spices, tomato paste, Worcester sauce. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to put some coals on top of the lid. So I want this to bake for about an hour and a half to make that meat nice and tender. There. So we'll get that up to 325, somewhere around there, but I'll be keeping an eye on it, you know, as it's baking. It's been close to an hour now since I put the meat in the Dutch oven. Um, I'm getting ready to put some more coals uh, on the Dutch oven as well. It's a little windy here, so they're starting to burn out, I guess. So. Let's have a look at the uh, inside that Dutch oven because I may need to add some more beef broth. So let's have a look inside, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's have a look inside. See how small these coals are getting? The wind, right? All right. Oh, it's windy. I don't want any ashes to go. I'll have to be quick. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, do I need to add anything to it? No, that's good. Oh, I don't need to add any uh, beef broth to it, so let's get that lid back on. <laughs> Keep that heat in there. There. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to twist everything. Every 15 minutes, you should... You should turn the pot, right? There. That looked good, eh? That looked really good. All right, guys. I still have a while before the vegetable goes in the pot. But while I'm here, I might as well get them ready, eh? All right. I'm going to have lots of leftovers, so I might as well add a few extra carrots uh, to my pot. So, be good for uh, leftovers. Baked carrots. <laughs> well, that's a nice carrot. Yeah. Three carrots, that'd be enough. All right, those coals are ready, guys. All right, I'll dump these. Now, we all have to clean off the coals on top of the oven, and I'll throw it in my other little thing here. Clean off the lid, there we go. Now, let's get them coals on top of the stove of the Dutch oven. And now, I'll throw the rest underneath. So one, two, 
three. Do we have a guy? So we got coals on the top and coals on the bottom. I'm going to let that, uh, there's lots of juices still in there in, in the Dutch oven, so it's not burning away. So I'm going to let that go for another 45 minutes. I'm going to come back down uh, from my truck and start uh, putting the vegetables in the pot. Yeah, it's smelling good already, guys. <laughs> smelling really, really good. Okay. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half since I put the meat in the Dutch oven. So now it's time for me to uh, start adding the carrots and potatoes. I'm just gonna chop them up in, uh, in pieces this time, guys, all right? See how good I am with that knife, La? <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it like everybody does it. You see, you see them doing it on the, on the camera. Chipped up very fast right now. <laughs> I'm doing it the willy way. <laughs> I love my fingers. <laughs> All right. They're chopped up enough. So anyway, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. Because I want some for uh, leftovers. That should be enough. Let's throw these vegetables in the pot. All right. Let's get this lid off. Throw in the carrots, potatoes. Ooh, that's hot. I just touched the lid. <laughs> there. Let's just stir that around, guys. Do I need any? No, I don't need any more uh, broth. That's, that's plenty. Now we're just going to put that lid on again. and let it bake for another two hours. So, I'm gonna go back to my truck and uh, start editing this video. So, I'll be right back, guys. It's smelling really good. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see if my dinner is cooked. Oh, boy, look at that, isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, the smell. Mmm. All right, that's cooked, guys. Let's see if I can put a fork through the meat. Oh, look. Oh my goodness, it's so tender. It's time to put that on my plate. All right, I'm going to get that meat out of there. Oh, look. Oh my, <laughs> some potato, some carrots, <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta have some of that juice too, oh my, oh my, best ever, <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. On my new feet plate. <laughs> I got a feed. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's go and sit down. All right. I got to try that meat and see what it's like. Oh, it's just falling apart, guys. It's just falling apart. Mmm. Oh, oh my goodness, so tender. Mmm. Oh my goodness, watch how the knife goes through it. Huh? Well, I don't have, I don't even need a knife. Look, watch. Can you see that? Huh? It's falling apart. Huh? <laughs> That's good. I gotta try them potatoes. Oh, nice. 
Little hot dog. I had to eat my Pepsi. <laughs> well, the rain's been uh, on and off since I've been here. Seems like every time I go up to the truck, it stops. And then every time it gets out of the truck, it rains. No wonder, eh? <laughs> All right, I gotta try some of that carrot now. Baked carrots, guys. Mmm, really good. Oh my goodness, God. Well, it's falling apart, can you see that? Look. <laughs> oh, show you again, La. Watch. Follow the power, La. <laughs> Excellent. So guys, I'm going to end the video here. I want to enjoy eating my, uh, my dinner and have a look at this beautiful scenery here in Newfoundland once again. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for all the thumbs up. And thank you for all the awesome comments. And thank you for, for all of your support. Um, yeah. I love my channel and I love you guys, right? And I always look forward to reading your beautiful comments. And thanks for uh, joining my live stream last night. I really enjoyed that live stream. So, all the best, guys. And, uh, yeah. And here you have Cooking the Willy Way, or the Willy Way of Cooking. All right, guys. All right. Have a good day. Life is good. Bye, all. <laughs>